This is Carl Moore talking management for the Globe and Mail. Today I'm delighted to speak to a colleague from Australia from the University of Queensland, Neil Ashkenazy. You've been studying high performance supervision and find some, I think, quite contrary findings to what we'd expect. What did you find, Neil? There's some interesting uh, aspects of, um, of, of supervision. Uh, it's been in the press uh, recently, uh, especially in Australia, uh, where Australia has uh, recently reappointed Kevin Rudd as its Prime Minister. And uh, Kevin Rudd is uh, infamous for a, uh, for a YouTube video showing him being very, very abusive. Uh, towards the people uh, providing the interview. And in fact, it turns out uh, that, uh, that this is his management style. And consequently, um, uh, many people in the uh, Australian Labor Party were reluctant to appoint him as Prime Minister again and said they wouldn't work with him. Uh, but he's incredibly popular to the, uh, to the public. Uh, and consequently, uh, when the Labor Party was, uh, was in dire straits uh, poll-wise, uh, they reappointed him, um, and he's now the Prime Minister going into an election. But he's not alone. Uh, uh, Lyndon Johnson, as described by uh, Robert Caro in his um, uh, award-winning biographies, uh, is described as an incredibly abusive man. I mean, he used to scream at his, uh, his assistants, make them work uh, ridiculous hours. Uh, Kevin, Kevin Rudd does the same thing. Uh, over and over again, we hear these stories. Steve Jobs is another one. But uh, somehow or other, uh, people seem to look past that. Uh, there is a, a, a tendency for people to uh, be uh, so devoted to, uh, to leaders that they allow them to, um, to abuse them like this and actually uh, that lifts them to a high level. So what's going on here? This is something that I'm studying. Neil, you're not calling for leaders to be more abusive, I assume. On the contrary, Carl, uh, I, I, we all, have problems with, uh, with uh, leaders who are, who are abusive. Uh, they're attracting a lot of attention at the moment, they cause an enormous amount of stress. Uh, ultimately, they affect the performance of organisations. But on the other hand, uh, there are examples where these leaders seem to be uh, very, very uh, effective in certain uh, circumstances. Uh, we want to see how leaders can uh, um, become high performance focused without the abuse. Uh, how can you take leaders who uh, perform in this abusive way uh, and uh, encourage them to be just as motivating but without the, uh, without the abusive stuff?